In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. So first and foremost, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. So we are going to copy this hex code right here. Create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. You are going to set opacity to 100, increase the brush size by the right bracket key and click once. So with the layer selected, we are going to set the blend mode to overlay. Then we are going to create a new layer. Grab a soft hand brush. Set foreground to white and click once. So we are going to set the blend mode to overlay as well and reduce the opacity. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. With the max selected, we are going to grab a soft hand brush. Set opacity to 100. Foreground is set to black. We are going to increase the bright size by the right bracket key. And then make a few clicks. We are going to reduce the opacity. Let's grab our tutorial set. First and foremost, we are going to copy this text. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Then we'll position it right here. Select all these layers, Ctrl G to group. So we are grouping all these layers and we lock it. Let's grab this item. Ctrl C to copy. But before then we have to select the three as well so that we copy all three together. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. I'm just going to select the three and adjust it right here. Let's select this item, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Going to position it right here and drop the layer. Let's grab this item. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. With this layer selected, we are going to make a copy, Ctrl J to copy. Then we select the layer beneath. Ctrl T, we right click and we are going to flip vertical. With the layer selected, we are going to drop it. Drop it once more. Alright. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. Reduce the opacity. Create a max. Grab the gradient tool. And then I'm just going to drag this way. With this layer selector, Ctrl J to make a copy. Position it right here.
we are going to reduce the opacity create a max grab a soft and brush and we are just going to erase some portion Now I can bring this back. So now we can bring this item back. We are just going to put it into the uh, into the paper. So first of all, we reduce the opacity. With the layer selected. So we are just going to warp this. Let's set opacity to 100. Control T, we right click and we are going to warp. So we are just going to warp it this way. The layer selected. We are going to create a max. We are max selected. Control I to invert. So everything is gone. But we are going to create a selection and fill them with white so that we can see all those parts through the sliced paper. We are creating a selection just around the places that are sliced. So once you have a selection, you are going to fill them with white and the bottle can show over there. Let's reduce the opacity first. Set foreground to white. Select any of the marquee to right click and fill. So we are going to fill with the foreground color which is white. And we have this showing. And we are going to go ahead and create more selection. Then we fill with white. Then it is there. So we do same for this as well. All right, we can set opacity back to hundred. Now I think we have everything in place. So we are going to be applying a lot of shadows. So we are just going to keep exposure adjustment layers and start applying more shadows. So with the layer clipped onto the layer, the effect applies only to the layer with the max selected control I to invert. We grab a soft arm brush and we are just going to paint some shadows. I'm going to create another exposure adjustment layer. Clipped onto the layer with the mark selected. Control I to invert. Then we are just going to paint some shadows. Foreground is set to white, so we are painting. So we are going to create a case adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are going to create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer as well. With a max selector control I to invert and we are going to paint some shadows.
sorry we have to speed this up we don't have we don't actually have all day So we are just going to apply more exposure adjustment layers, paint more shadows until it looks very good. Alright, I'll be speeding up this process because we don't have all day. So we are going to be creating some contact shadows right here. We create a new layer. Then just beneath this, we are just going to create a contact shadow and reduce the opacity. So for this layer as well, we are going to create a new layer. Cover soft tan brush. Then we are going to create contact shadow and reduce the opacity. We are going to create a new layer right here. Right click, create a new layer right here. Then we click once, create a new layer. Again, we click once. So, so we are creating some contact shadows for this item. We are going to reduce the opacity. We 
are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. But this time around for highlight. With the mark selected. Control height invert. You can a soft hand brush. Reduce opacity. Foreground is set white. And you're just going to paint right here. Now all is all left is our logo, so we are going to place logo on each of them. Control C to so Control J to make a copy of the logo. We are just going to make it smaller. Right click, Control T, right click, and we are just going to warp it right here. But first of all, we are going to right click on the layer and go for blend. We are going to blend in options. So we are just going to draw this thing. This handle. You hold Alt and break the handles. Ctrl J to make another copy. So we are just going to make it smaller and position it right here. Ctrl T, we are just going to warp and apply blending options. So we warp and go for blending options. Then pure. You drag, hold out and break the handles. Create a new layer. Grab a soft and brush. Make the brush bigger. You are just going to click once. Set opacity to 100 and we click once. Blend mode is set to linear dodge and we are going to drop the layer right here. Just before the logo. Once we have everything in place, then we are just going to apply camera roll. So once we have everything in place, you press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. Then we go for camera roll. So filter, camera roll filter. So we'll be playing around these settings until that is okay. So this is before and after camera roll. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.